Welcome back. You're watching McLaren Port Huron's Today's Health. In this segment, we're going to be talking with Dr. Justin Clamaris about plans for McLaren Port Huron Carmanos Cancer Institute. Dr. Clamaris is Chief Quality Officer and Executive Vice President of Community Programs for Barbara Ann Carmanos Cancer Institute. Dr. Clamaris, thank you for speaking with us today. Thank you, Barb. Pleasure to be here. Why bring Carmanos Cancer Institute to this community? Well, that's an excellent question. I, I think um, for those of us uh, at McLaren Healthcare who've been involved in c the care of patients in the community throughout our state, um, one of the things that we've realized is that we need to bring together the best and greatest technologies and services that we have and can provide for our patients. Um, about a year and a half, McLaren Healthcare partnered with uh, Carmanus Cancer Institute uh, to bring world-class cancer care to all of our communities that we serve in Michigan. Uh, when Port Huron joined the family as a part of McLaren, obviously we were excited uh, to be able to bring that same quality of service uh, to this region. And I should say, you're already doing an excellent job. This is a great community, great providers here, so we look to, to bring in additional resources to strengthen the care that patients have access to here. How do you see uh, cancer care changing with the addition of Carmanus Cancer Institute to McLaren Port Huron's already amazing program? Sure, sure. Well, first of all, um, Carmanus Cancer Institute is, one, is designated by the National Cancer Institute as being one of only 41 comprehensive cancer centers. And we only have two here in the state. So at Carmanus in Detroit, that brings a whole bench strength of talent, researchers, investigators, subspecialists. So we'll have the opportunity to extend some of that subspecialty care here to the community. One of the areas that I think we're most excited about uh, is advancing uh, clinical trial opportunities in the community so that patients can participate uh, in clinical trials. The expansion of the uh, cancer center with the new construction that was announced uh, just a few weeks ago, obviously we obviously will build a brand new facility. That facility will offer radiation services that aren't currently available. And one thing we've also learned for those of us who practice in the community is that when you have cancer, you, it's really difficult to drive large distances of time. Patients with cancer oftentimes have quite a few symptoms, either from the treatment or from their disease. So having access to the best treatment close to home really is uh, allows patients to, to, to have uh, the best care they can, which is uh, strengthened by their community and their family. You talked about clinical trials, and I think to most of us that sounds very heady and scientific. Can you help us understand what they are and how they will help cancer care? Absolutely, Barb. So the way that we know how to improve care and, and most of the care standards that are available today all were discovered by doing a clinical trial. And that's by taking an investigation, whether it be a new drug for a treatment of a particular type of cancer, and uh, introducing that into the a patient population and to determine how patients respond to those drugs. It's important in cancer clinical trials that we're comparing the, what we know today to be the best therapy with something new that we believe offers new hope or better outcomes. And a cancer clinical trial in particular is how those new drugs, how those new radiation techniques or those new surgical techniques um, come to be practiced around the country. Um, at Carmanus in Detroit, we have at any one time about 250 clinical trials that are open. Just an amazing number of trials. Um, and also another exciting fact of the new drugs to you that are used in the treatment of cancer, 50% of all new drugs in cancer are tested at Carmanus in our phase one clinical trial program. So that's part of what we'll do and part of what we mean by a clinical trial. I'm interested in the Carmanos Cancer Institute name. How did sure. that come about? Well, it's, it's a, a memorial to Barbara Ann Carmanis, um, and her family as the benefactors gave a, a substantial gift uh, to the Carmanis Cancer Institute. It was renamed uh, in her memory. Um, she had a very long battle with breast cancer, um, and uh, this was something that um, her family realized really at the end of her journey was that the care she received in the beginning um, wasn't quite what they should have done. They didn't uh, have the best specialists 
the best care that was available, and they realized that uh, that it would be their family's mission, um, really, to extend that high quality care and those services um, uh, by formalizing an institute in Detroit. We think as we extend the Carmanis uh, um, um, Institute throughout the state of Michigan, we do so also in Barbara Ann's memory because the more people that have better care and have access to that care, um, we're honoring her name and we're honoring all cancer patients. You've given us very, very hopeful information. Do you have any closing comments for our viewers? We're, we are, you know, we, we wish that people didn't need cancer care. You know, when we win the war on cancer, that'll be what we really celebrate. Um, but we know that, that 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 isn't true today, and so we have to have the best services that we possibly can. And we want to grow those services here in Port Huron, and we look forward to doing that. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you, Barb. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be right back.